Hello friends and welcome back to the flower fair. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the lovely carousel just behind me. So before we start building let's go and check it out. So you can see here I've gone for a green and white theme. It is a little bit raised up off the ground as a real carousel is and it's got all these creatures here that you can ride on. There you go, just like that. So for this build you're going to need white concrete, sea lanterns, dark prismarine stairs, prismarine slabs and dark prismarine slabs and we're going to do the bottom layer first. So if you start with a kind of cross shape with your white concrete that is going to be the base of your pillar. So I like to add a sea lantern for lighting but you can do a different pattern. And we're going to start by adding the dark prismarine stairs around it. So we're going to go all the way around, not leaving any gaps at all. Then from here, we're going to do the main part of the base. So we're going to lay one, two, three, four, five white concretes. Oh, hello, trader. <laughs> not the time when I want you, thank you. So we're going to go three deep with this. And we're going to do this on each side. And so far it should look just like this. Next we're going to make it more circular. So pop another square of four in each corner here. And in the gaps as well. Just fill those in with one. Okay, so now we've got the main part of the base built up, we're going to do the edging to give some more detail. So we're going to go all around the edge with the prismarine slabs. So everywhere there's a white concrete block, just pop in the slab, touching it. There we go, full border there, and we're going to do the same with the dark prismarine. And there we go, the base layer is complete. So let's start building it up. Let's build the main column first. So we want to take our white concrete, and we've already got one there, so we're going to go two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And so what I've decided to do with this design is to spiral the sea lanterns up around the, around the column. So you can pop those in like that, but feel free to do a different design if you prefer. And we're going to leave the top one, because the top one is where the roof is going to be. Let me show you quickly. So you can see here we're going to add the roof just above this. But for now, let's fill in the gaps. Okay, for this top layer here, we're going to start by adding a rectangle, which is two across by three. Just like that, to each of these corners. So two by three. And then as before, we're just going to fill in the gaps. And in here as well. So we've got part of our roof now. And because I liked to add a bit of shape to it, I've dropped down for the next layer. So if you look closely here, you'll see that the top dark prismarine slabs I exactly follow the bottom dark prismarine slabs. So what you can do at this point is add in the end rods, just to make it easier to find where your markings will be. So you can see here I've got them on the ends of each of the long strips and once in the corners as well. And we're going five high with the end rods. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five five there and keep going all the way around doing this. Four and five and in these little corner ones as well. Lovely and let's do the rest. There we go, all the roof supports have been added now. So now I'm going to go in and add the dark prismarine slabs just above their counterparts below. So 
So now we've got our full top circle of dark prismine slabs. I'm going to go back to the concrete and add in this lower layer here. So you can basically just fill in everywhere between the dark prismarine and the higher uh, level of white concrete. And there we go, the shape of the build is really coming together now. You can see we've got the bottom floor, the centre section and the side of the roof. So continuing with the roof, we're going to add the section in the centre here, which rises right to a point at the top. So for this one, as well as the white concrete and the sea lanterns, you're also going to need prismarine blocks. Oh, and I decided to use lanterns as well to light it up, though you can use whatever you prefer. So just freeze, I'll start out with the lanterns, popping those on each corner right here. And then we'll go in with the prismarine blocks. So we're going to create a little U shape like this and then pop a sea lantern in the middle. I really love the prismarine blocks, I think the colour change is really pretty. So once we've done that on all four sides, we're going to add three on the next level. And then one, one higher up, and then one, one more higher up like a little staircase just there. So you can use any blocks for these blocks underneath, it doesn't matter, plus you won't be seeing them in the final build. Then right on the top, you're gonna to pop a sea lantern. I'm also gonna fill this space in with sea lanterns. Then we're gonna go around again with our white concrete and fill in the gaps. So we've got one, one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Lovely. So again, one, one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, three. There you go, that's the centre section all completed. Now, last of all, for the top section, we need these little curved bits here. So we're going to need another new block, and it's the dark prismarine stairs this time. So we're going to start by building a curved section around here. Oops. <laughs> there we go, it looks a little bit like a sofa. Then one step in on each side, we're going to put a stair. And then here we've got an upside down stair. So from the front, it looks like a nice curve. So let's do this on the other three sides and then we'll work on the curved sections. So one, two, three, four and five. Then we've got a stair going this way, one going the opposite way, and one that's upside down. So let's start with the bottom part. So this is a simple zigzag shape. There we are, and then we'll add the top section. So again, one block in from the lantern here, popping one stair this way, and the other stair this way, and the same on the other side, one block in from the lantern, one this way, one the other way, and we're gonna pop one right in the middle there to complete it. Right, let's do this on the other three sides. So again, in a little zigzag here, Then one block in from the center, uh, from the lantern rather. And then again, one block in from the lantern. And in the middle. And with that, the top section of the carousel is built. So the next part we're going to work on is the carousel animals or creatures depending on what you want to build. 
I would encourage you to use your creativity at this point and try and create some characters for yourself. So for this one, it's some different blocks again. I wanted it to contrast slightly with the colours I got but still fit in with the theme, so feel free to use something more colourful if you prefer. So we've got quartz blocks, oh sorry, smooth quartz blocks, smooth quartz stairs, and smooth quartz slabs, as well as the end rods. So for a carousel of this size, I'd recommend spacing them out so you have six creatures. I've popped the first one and the uh, one at the back on the white sections here, and then for the other two, I pop them on the prismarine sections. So a few different creatures you can make. If you pop uh, a block in the centre, I usually find that is the easiest starting place. We've got some back legs. Let's have some front legs and a little head as well. And you've just got a simple, I guess it's a dog, it looks like a dog to me. So I'm going to pop the rods on <laughs> to join up here. And there we go. That's our first carousel animal. The diagonal animals can be a bit more of a challenge, but I've got this leaping creature here. I think this one's pretty cute. Let's go make this guy. So for the leaping creature, we're going to pop a quartz block in the centre. We're going to use a slab for the front paws here and pop one slightly lower down for the back paws. Oops. <laughs> Then we'll add a head and a tail, so if we pop the head on like that, and I think the tail on facing the same direction, that looks pretty cute to me. So I'll give you a quick view around the rest of the animals so you can see how they're made. This one I see as being a seahorse, so some people see other things. This is possibly my favourite, this is like a little bunny rabbit. Got another leaping creature here, but with a bit more at the front. And I like this one a lot too. I think this is like a llama. Um, but please do make your own creatures and your own interpretations. So the final step once you've built all your creatures is to add the poles on where you would hold if you were riding them. So we're going to pop one, two and three here into all the creatures. And that's why I recommend using a whole quartz block here because it just makes it easier to <laughs> oops, just makes it easier to add the little poles on at the end. And there we are, the carousel is all complete. All the little animals on here, and the cute little roof with the little indent detail as well. So I'd highly recommend, when you build this, build a little surrounding to it. Um, mine sits in the flower fair here, but even just a little border with uh, bricks and a few flowers can really liven it up. And hey, maybe add a few other rides as well and make a whole fair of it. Why not? It's super fun. I really recommend it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial today. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you make it as well. If you do, please tag me in your photos on Instagram. I'd really love to see it. So thank you again. I'll see you all next time. Bye!